at 10. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight. A stray bullet from a Lafayette shooting put a 16-year-old girl in the hospital. When the teen was shot, police say at least two shooters from separate vehicles were firing at each other. It happened near the intersection of Surrey and 12th Streets. News 10's Britt LaFasso spoke with friends and family members of the teen. They say the girl was riding in a vehicle when gunfire erupted nearby. A friend who was riding in the vehicle with that 16 year old says they were driving down this road when they heard gunshots. A few seconds later, the baby seat in the back seat seemed to explode, and that's when they realized a stray bullet had traveled into their vehicle. Basically, it was a senior skip day, and on their way coming home, the, um, the cars were shooting after each other, and the bullet went through the back seat. The sister of one of the teen girls in the car explains the 16-year-old girl felt a sharp pain in her back. Police say when the bullet struck the teen's vehicle, a fragment from the bullet struck her. She was taken to the hospital and is now in stable condition. The 16-year-old female who was inside the vehicle when she got struck by the uh, bullet fragment had nothing to do with the situation, was just kind of caught in a crossfire you know, at the red light in traffic. Several vehicles were struck who did not have anything to do with the actual shooting. They were just in the air and vehicles were struck by gunfire. Senior Corporal Matthew Benoit says at least two vehicles were involved in this shooting, possibly a third. We're trying to piece together everything. We're trying to put the information together and figure out what exactly happened. People nearby who witnessed what happened say the violence has to stop. We as a community need to do better, like on the north side of town, officially, because this is it's crazy whenever... A 16-year-old just can't come to the simple corner store without worrying about if they're getting shot or not. Police have not released information on any suspects. Reporting in Lafayette, Britt LaFosso, Caleb White, News 10.